Welcome back to Lissa's Reviews, and today I'm going to review Rick and Morty. Now, I've already put Rick and Morty on my Facebook page, so this will be on my YouTube. So, this will kind of be a bit more done, and I'm probably a bit more in depth of what I want to talk about, and just some other bits and pieces. Hope you enjoy. So, let's get into it. Rick and Morty, what is it about? Well, it's a science fiction sitcom on the Adult Swim ch channel on um, Fox though I think it is or Channel Net I apologize Cartoon Network um, so we get to see this if you got Foxtel however though if you have Netflix this is available as well there are other um, ways you can watch it as well whether you want to buy it or rent it on DVD so what is Rick and Morty well it is made by Justin Roy Royland and Dan Harmon and they and they are both also voice actors. Justin Roiland, well, actually not Dan, sorry. Justin Roiland um, is a voice actor for Rick Sanchez. Chris Parnell is the voice actor for Jerry Smith. Um, Spencer Grammer is the voice actor for Summer Smith. And Sarah Chalk is um, the voice actor for Beth Smith. Um, also, Morty Smith is voice actor by Justin Roiland. This is an animated sitcom. It's kind of like your Simpsons, except... Pretty much this is just about the science fiction aspect of it, but it's also a family as well, with the Smith family, except for Rick, who's a, who is Sanchez. Um, but he is the grandpa of uh, Morty, and a lot of the times he is just doing his own things, whether it is traveling through space, going on wacky adventures, doing whatever deeds he needs done, and he drags Morty along with him for a lot of it. This gives you the feel uh, of... Um, Kind of like a Back to the Future kind of store like look. It has got Rick who looks similar to the Doc. Who it has got Morty who looks similar to Marty, but this is total opposite of that. It is way different. Um, Morty is this um, kind of nervous, unsure um, teenager, and he's more interested in either playing video games or um, trying to get the girl. Heather, I think it is, um, and um, Rick is always there to always um, force him into an adventure with him to do whatever kind of job he needs to do at the time. So, um, let's talk about each individual character. Rick is just one of these guys that just drinks, is kind of, doesn't give a shit about anyone but himself at times. Um, he will do things for the family if it, if it, like, kind of, been. Beth is kind of like the mom of the group and she has her own problems and dealing with Jerry at times because he's always so needy to dealing with her kids, to trying to reconnect with her dad, um, Rick, um, really funny. Um, Jerry is on the other hand a, um, unemployed dad who finds it hard to get work and is just always just kind of a bit needy around the family and just yeah just being kind of like a needy dad just really funny and he always just dislikes whatever Rick is doing he gets annoyed whenever Rick is like doing something and then and then it kind of influences the family and then he's like well hang on like no and he tries to um, throw his point out but he's always shut down by um, Beth. <laughs> it's pretty much just this young teenage girl just does her own thing whatever it is and yeah, just, she just does her own thing, pretty much. There's nothing much more to her. And Morty is adventures. You see these guys just do wacky adventuring stuff. The animation style is excellent. Um, I love the different um, episodes where they go on different planets and all these different zany um, other characters they have to meet along the way, such as Birdman, who's pretty funny. At Well, not funny, he's kind of like just... But, but he kind of comes across... Crosses as a um, bit boring, but it can kind of be a bit like interesting at times. And then you got um, his other friend Squanchy, who's just like this um, fox slash jackal looking character that just always just says Squanch or just stuff like that. And, and you just I don't you don't get what it is, but it's it's real funny when he says it. He's like, hey, do you mind if I go Squanch in, in your COVID man? And he's like, yeah, you can go Squanch wherever you want, Squanchy. So yeah, I like um, Squanchy. He's funny. There's other characters as well that you meet along the way, and there's other funny episodes. There are just so much episodes to enjoy 
Season 1 and 2 are just excellent in my opinion. Um, I love Season 2 more than Season 1. Only because Season 2 ends so so um, really dramatically and you'll find out how, how that ends the series. It's actually a bit serious as a, a sitcom comes. Um, it takes the the cartoon very seriously. It's not always about like all the stupid adventures and all that and all the jokes. It's just about, it is, it is kind of about like, you know, it has a story behind it and like, you know, and, and you do get to see some of it and it's excellent and it's excellent um, TV. Yeah, so I mean, this is what I spend most of my time when I'm on Netflix is watching Rick and Morty or watching other various other cartoons or just shows that I'm interested in. What else have I got to say about it? The voice acting is amazing. Um, I love Rick's voice, how it is done. I love his look as, as the character as well. And I just like um, Morty as a character as well. He's always looking a bit funny. They always do the, fu the funny lips when he's like kind of like, like, ooh. Like, and it's just like this little squiggly line. You, you, you'll you notice it if you watch uh, the show. It Just pay attention to it when it happens. And some of the characters, other characters do it as well when um, it's, the humor is pretty funny. It is pretty funny for a cartoon. Probably maybe not as many jokes, but you will f laugh at a few things that do happen, and you you will like some of it just for what it is in the story. Um, it's always available on Netflix if you need to watch it, if you so it's as accessible to people who want it. Um, it is available on DVD as well for twenty dollars or twenty five dollars, not sure. Pretty cheap um, for considering if it's got entertainment value it as well, and it earns every single dollar, like in my opinion. So, if you're interested in adult animated cartoons or just TV series in general, this is one you want to see because it is just excellent. It's a fill, it's filled a void in my heart when I lost Aquatine Hunger Force because they've been cancelled, unfortunately, which I'll be doing a review on that eventually on the track, but I'm going to finish the whole series on that as well, which I'm nearly done. So, I would um, say that this cartoon has filled a void in my heart. I've been waiting for something new, something fresh and, and interesting, and this is one of those things. And it's got many quotable lines, many quotable characters, and you will just love it. It is one of those cartoons you just have to watch. So, Rick and Morty, like, I don't even have many negatives, guys, on this cartoon. I really don't. I can't really think of something I really didn't like. I, at first, it was the, um, Rick, the fact that not much backstory behind Rick, but you get to see a little bit more of that later on in Season 2 if you um, want to keep watching it. It's an excellent cartoon, 25 minutes of your time. Easy to just sit down, have dinner, watch a few episodes, and you can knock, knock it out within a week or two. Excellent watch. It's a nine out and a half out of ten in my opinion for entertainment value and everything value. It's an excellent cartoon on Netflix right now. So go ahead and watch it, guys. And for watching Wilson's reviews, I hope you enjoy this review of Rick and Morty. And I'm sorry I had to do a re-review, but this is what has to happen sometimes. We got to redo videos. So if you like this video, hit a like on it. Um, if you are in, on YouTube and you are interested in my content and want to see more. Subscribe for more and wait for more guys. Next I will be doing Spider-Man followed by 50 Shades of Grey. Thank you again guys and see you soon. Bye.